as you can see, I didn't get up for sunrise again. But there was a reason for it. I got up, looked out the window, and it was just literally a blanket of grey cloud. And there was no light. It was, and I thought, I'm, I, I'm not going to make the outer walk to go down there. Um, just a personal choice. I thought I'd wait to see what happens in a few hours. And I'm glad I did because now the blanket of cloud is actually started to break up a bit and giving it some texture in the sky. Um, so I'm going to the location where I was originally going to go to and I'm going to start off there. Um, but no, it's, it's there's not a lot of light but there is a lot of light streaming through the cloud. You can't see it. Um, I'll try and get some footage of it. So it's looking very interesting and I'm hoping the tide's out as well because it looks like the uh, harbour is So I probably need to hurry up. So yeah, stay with me. Line going down to the actual beach itself. Um, so, unfortunately, there was actually two compositions that I wanted out of this shot, and there was two people walking down just before me, and I wanted them right at the end. But unfortunately, I couldn't get my um, graduated filter out quick enough to take the sky down because it's very bright now. Um, but I really like this shot. It's different. It's not something that I'd usually take because I was going to use the. Um, about 100 mil and going really tight with it to compress it right down um, but I went 16 mil I believe in the end so yeah so F11 exposure 100 ISO 100 and enjoy seen so much algae all over the stones before um, but I've just found one image that I probably wouldn't have taken but I really like the way that I've managed to capture this it's got the green algae laying on the stones it's got the sandy colored stones in the background and then I focused on there's a church and like a little cliff edge see it's unusual, it, it is, it's not the great image in the world, but I've managed to get one down here. I'm going to do a bit more searching, I've found a wind farm down there, which is nicely without uh, sun rays at the moment, so I might go have a look at that. Um, but I'm calling this the, uh, the Neapolitan image. Yeah, it's definitely the Neapolitan. Um, some areas that you might like, some areas that you won't. So, but yes, it's a marmite image, that's what we call it, a marmite image. Neapolitan Marmite. Right, well, let's carry on exploring. Enjoy this image. Right, well, let's keep going. Next 
image, which I've already taken, actually. Um, this is probably one of the hardest shoots I've ever done. And I actually semi-planned this as well, which is kind of odd. But I've just found this leading line going up to here. That's it. seaweed which has actually turned brown and it's placed <laughs> really nicely on the green so I've just snapped that up. I've actually taken three um, I'm not too sure which one I'm gonna favor until I get them home on the big screen but I'm gonna start heading back now um, I think the tide's coming in as well which is uh, probably more of a sensible option considering I will get cut off because it comes around first um, so yes um, it's a different image again this whole trip has been completely different to me I'm trying to balance up between family and photography and it's nice that I can I can do, try and do both um, I've still got a few more days here so don't write it off yet for, uh, for no more images because there may still be to come I'm, but I think this is probably all you're going to see from today, from me. So, from day three down here in Pagham, I hope you enjoy the images that I've got so far. And I'm hoping that I'm getting better at vlogging as well. I, I don't think I am, but um, my main hurdle is to try and talk more while there's other people around, I think. But we'll get used to that. Right, so for now I'm signing off. I'm going to go and enjoy some family time. See you later.